Hey guys, Anthony, 4 Before Diesel. This video is to answer a few questions in regards to how to get some uh, readings up on your scan tools, different scan tools. So there's people using the old scan gauges, so I'm going to give you some codes to get a few things working on there. There's a whole heap of codes and I don't come up with them, you just got to do your research. I suppose it helps if you know people and who to ask. Um, around the traps and sort of see who's got what where and what's working take notice when people post what they're doing what they've got because when you want to do it then you need to go you know who was that guy where was he who was that yeah it's good to remember these things so um, obviously I like running the auto fix 3210 because it's just an app on the phone it's really easy so you haven't got any ugly old square boxy looking devices around but at this stage it doesn't show you the transmission temperature I believe they're working on that, so sit tight. Uh, for those people that have got an old scan gauge that want to get it working and they've got a newer vehicle like the 1G DFTV, people are curious to be able to watch the um, talk, uh, sorry, the DPF percent, well, sort of percentage, it's kind of reads as a percentage. It basically counts up from, I'll explain it in this video, it counts up from, well, technically every two, so whether you say from two to 100 or whatever, but generally, you know, it'll go 20, 22, 24, 26, slowly it'll go up. As soon as it hits 100, if the conditions are right, it'll initiate the DPF burn and it'll slowly count down in twos till it gets down to usually around about six. And um, then it'll be, obviously the burn finishes. It'll slowly count back up again to 100, you know. It's like two, say every five, five minutes or so, something like that, it's about five minutes. Something like that anyway, guys, about every 300 Ks. Um, depending on conditions probably varies a little bit so people want to be able to read that percentage which makes sense because same as the problem I've had you're um, you're driving and you're just getting home or something and it just starts to burn so you're interrupting the burn and look I suppose it doesn't matter because it's going to resume next time anyway but what if you just happen to do another short trip you keep interrupting the burn it can't be ideal but so it would be handy to know when it's doing the burn right so you can go to your dealer you can get them to put it in customized mode that means it'll come the message will come up on the dash and tell you when it's doing it but once it's doing it it's kind of a bit late it's good to plan it it's like having a fuel gauge imagine you didn't have a fuel gauge okay and then all of a sudden your fuel light comes on well that doesn't help you you know when it happens at the wrong time the whole point of the gauge is that see cars don't work that way do they they don't just tell you nothing and then all of a sudden the fuel light comes on right you know you've got a fuel gauge so you know okay well i'm half full so you can pl plan ahead right plan ahead so if there was some sort of gauge system on the dpf oh but there is they just don't show us what it is now i'm going to give you some codes the first i've got a few things here the first page i'm going to show you it's got four codes so at this point you might want to press pause and get your pen and paper ready or get your phone ready to take a picture of my screen you can do that or you can just play the video again and just pause it at the screen you want. I'll hold it steady, you press pause, you put that code in, etc. Right? So you don't need to take photos or write it down, you know what? That'd be the hard way. Pressing pause is the way to do it. So I'll hold it, hold it nice and steady on the screen. I'm going to bring it up in a minute. Um, the first one, so I, I didn't put this data together. The first one is ATF. Now I want to be clear, this is the ATF for the A60F, the six-speed auto. So if you want to get your ATF, ATF, Automatic Transmission Fluid Temp Up, and it's the PAN. I don't care about the torque converter, okay? Torque, torque, it's going to give you the torque converter, but I don't care about the torque converter. It makes heat, and it's going to give you a high reading. You don't need to worry about that. It's up to you if you want to look at it. I don't care. That's the second one. So the top one for the six-speed auto is the ATF, the PAN. The next one down is the torque converter, which is what makes the heat. It's always going to be hotter. Punch it in. You might as well program it, and you got it there. You can have a play with it sometime. The next one down is EGT. Now on these cars, there's three EGT sensors that you can get readings off. Um, so one's called EGT, the other one's called DPF on this screen, but that's a DPF temp. So it's one of the exhaust temp sensors. It's the one that gets really hot. So if you program these four, you're gonna have your ATF pan, you're gonna have your torque converter, you're gonna have your EGT, that's one of the ones, I can't tell you which one it is to be honest, but. There's three, it's one of the ones that stays reasonably calm. 
and then you've got your DPF, which is really one of your exhaust temperatures, but it's right at the end, it's after the DPF, which is why it gets really hot up into 700 degrees when it's doing a burn. So, okay, here we go. I'm gonna bring it into the picture. It's just gonna take a second probably, there you go. So your top one, what you do is you press pause now, or you just keep listening and you can go back, right? The top one, right, that's that one, right? That's for your ATF in the six-speed auto. It should work on all of them. I can't guarantee it. I said it should. Then when you've done that, if you want your torque converter, it's the next one down. Funnily enough, there it is, named torque converter. Right, you need to go and read the instructions on your scan gauge to work out how to program it. It's really, it's a bit fiddly at the start because you've got to go up, down, up, down with the arrows and press the next button. Once you get good at it, it's really easy, okay? Torque converter, may as well program it. The next one, EGT, that's one of the EGTs that's pretty steady. It's gonna be usually around the three, 400 degrees type thing, right? At least you're sitting at the lights, it'll drop down under 200 even. And then you've got DPF. Don't get excited and think that's the percentage for your DPF. That's not the one, it's just, that's your hot EGT. So I would actually, you can name these whatever you want. That one that's called DPF right there, I wouldn't call it DPF. I'd call it, uh, what's the next one? EGT, EGH, exhaust gas hot. So you know it's the hot one, okay? So they're your codes that I've got on that screen, on that photo, right? So you've seen those, I don't know, you can pause it anywhere you like. So there's top one, door converter, EGT, DPF, so right? So you just pause that and you can punch it in and program away, okay? Now I'm gonna go to the next one I've got because Robert is watching this video which is one of the people, mate, I have done this for you. It's costing you a nice curry, okay? Or something, whatever, mate. We're going out to eat. It's all good. Um, this one, look, these these things should work on the all the 2.8s, right, with the six speed. Um, as far as I know, the Scan Go 2 and the Torque Pro Android app will do transmission temps, but sometimes I think, I don't know much about those, but Apparently you need to add in these codes and that's what AutoFix should be doing with the software adding these codes in so they may use this software to get the transmission temp and the DPF percentage going now. So those other ones I just showed you are very important but this one is probably one of the most important to have. So this is gold right here, okay? This is the most important to have on, well it's not, it's the second most important, okay? The most important one was the one I showed you, the pan temp, because on the 1GD, the 6-speed, as I've explained, the torque converter doesn't like to stay locked. They slip a lot. They get really hot quickly. I know everyone's got different experiences, but look, that's what happens, okay? They get hot really quickly. Compared to the A750F, the 5-speed, there's a different code to get the trans temp on that one. So don't think if you've got one, it covers both cars. You need to program these all separately so that it works because there's different programming for each vehicle, okay? And I can probably find that code. I might have to go into my scan gauge or I don't know where it is, but it would be somewhere, okay? And I'm sure someone else can provide it as well. And you could get in contact with scan gauge one way or the other and hopefully get this sort of information. But this one, I suppose, is gold because nobody's got it, okay? So you're going to get your scan gauges working now, giving yourselves the... This is the DPF countdown we'll call it dpf countdown is what i'd like to refer to it as so if you what did i call mine i think i stored mine as dpf because this is the real dpf one you want to read i'm just having a little information because i can't show you it's, it's some small writing here um, early days interested in feedback just having a bit of a read okay yep so basically what we said i'm just going to zoom it so i can show you the bigger picture if you know what i mean right okay so here we go again right this is the one you want Robert this is you right that's your code buddy that's your TXD your RXF your RXD and your MTH right and you can call it whatever you want I'd call it DPF not DPA and the other one that was called DPF I'd call it I'd just call it mate even EGT again EGT you can't call it 
maybe just call it EG1, EG2 on the EGT1. So the point is you can put whatever three letters you like to name it, you can change that, like it says there, or whatever. Okay, so that's your numbers. Now, that is the gold that you wanted, right? So I hope you press pause, or you can just play the video again. This video is not going anywhere, it's gonna be there. Trevor, this is for you as well, the one you asked for. Um, auto fix, um, auto fix Australia. So there's that code. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like on the scan gauge as well, okay? So I've got shots of a scan gauge here, just so we can be really clear. This will be really good actually, hopefully. Hang on, if I don't muck it up, just keep the screen open. Okay, so on the scan gauge too, there it is, right? So that's how it's gonna look when it's programmed on your scan gauge two screen. Look at it, they're dinosaurs. We just need to get these apps working, this AutoFix app with these readings, okay? And they're just gonna be selling like hotcakes, I tell you. Crazy, I'll be in full support. I'm already supporting it, but it's gonna be a lot better when we've got transmission temp and the DPF percentage, okay? That's the first screen of programming and the next screen, that's what it's gonna look like. It's your RXF, next screen, 4008. And the last one, there it is, right? Mate, tell me this is not holding your hand, guys, you know? Come on, if I can get this info, surely you can get it. Anyway, that's what we need for, for whoever wants to know. That's what you need to get your old, I wouldn't, I don't rec recommend buying a scan gauge, okay? As far as I know, they're about 250 bucks. In my opinion, they're overpriced. They only show four things on the screen at a time. It's a hard wire thing that it's kind of in the way and it's, uh, you got to, you know, Velcro it to something, you got a nice new car, it's kind of pretty ugly. But I'll give you the tip, on top of the steering column, on the 1GD even, on that later dash of what we've got, sitting right back near that, you know, that little leather joiner at the top of the trim to the bottom of the, the cluster shroud, it kind of sits in there alright actually, that's where mine's sitting, you may have seen in some other videos. I don't want to keep it there. I'd rather have it all on the app because I don't necessarily want it open all the time. I want to look at it when I want to look at it. I'd rather use the phone. It's cleaner, neater. It's newer technology. It's sitting there in the phone holder anyway. I'd rather use that. I don't have this ugly square box there. I'm not recommending people go and buy a scan gauge at all. In my opinion, I've said it already. They're just kind of like pretty old. They look like something out of a 1980 Sigma. Mitsubishi Sigma. You know, Mitsubishi Magna. Like really square kind of, you know. They need to modern it up a bit anyway. Hopefully someone can come up with something better, auto fix. And um, so the Bluetooth app is the way to go. You just need to be able to read and clear DTCs, right, which is fine. You want to be able to read some of these parameters. And the main ones on any of these vehicles is the trans temp. So you want to get all those working. And all I really care about is the Praros and the Hilux, the Toyota range and the DPF percentage is the main one. If you've got things like all the exhaust gas temperatures and you've got your, uh, which you've already got your EGR percentage on both vehicles, so both on the 1KD, it shows me the EGR percentage, that's good. It shows the EGR percentage on the 1GD, that's good. Um, of course, we like to see the MAP reading and the MAF reading, which you've got both of those. The battery voltage is good, the coolant temperature is good. So it's all similar to that. We just want the transmission temperature, but be aware the pan temperature, not the torque converter. You can have both, but just make sure you call it the right thing so there's no confusion. I hope I've explained it. That's about all I've got for you guys. There's the best channel right there, 4 before 4 Diesel. There's the latest videos. We've got one almost movie length. There it is, what's it called? Service Detail Prado 1KD 1GT. 1GD, yeah. It goes through basically telling you how easy it is to service a car that's fairly new, you know, basic checks. We've got other videos showing you that anyway, but look, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you really got something out of that and love getting those trans temp codes and that DPF countdown code. But don't go and spend your 250, 300 bucks yet on a scan gauge because I believe the auto fix is going to have something better and that 3210, it's half the price roughly. I think it's a better way to go. You haven't got the wire in the way. It's easy to just unplug and put in. Just think of it, you've got a friend comes over, you've got a friend with you, just, just duck around, you unplug that from the car and you plug it into theirs and you can use your phone and scan it and clear it for them. 
if you've got a scan gauge and you've got that wire routed in there and kind of like neatly, last thing you want to do is keep pulling it in and out. And every time you pull the Velcro, the sticky part comes off as well. It just starts getting messy, guys. So I'm not telling you to buy a scan gauge. I'm just trying to help people with scan gauges, get them working to do what they can, as I did myself, while we're waiting for auto fix to fix and get the transmission temp up. All right, guys, thanks for that. If you got something out of it, don't forget to give us the thumbs up like that in the dark. Subscribe if you haven't already and uh, turn the bell on so you don't mix, miss, miss the next most important video. And I'll be looking in the comments. Anybody that's got any other scan gauge codes, feel free to comment. That would be really appreciated by everyone. If we've got them all in the comments, keep it simple. Just say what car it works on, what it's for. So trans temp for a uh, Toyota Hilux 2008. If you want to share, that'd be awesome, guys. As a community, if we all share and help each other, it's just going to make it easier for everyone. Once again, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. See ya.